Hi, this is Karen. Welcome to DoLallyCrafts.com, or my YouTube channel anyway. This is the card we're going to be making today. It's been a while since I've actually made any cards, um, well, any cards for YouTube. I've been very busy off camera. This is the one that we're making today. A special treat and for one of um, my subscribers who actually makes a comment in the comments section down below the video, I have um, a kit Don't have a to make at. this card. Um, my blog, you will see the original that I cased this from. I just switched it up a little bit, um, added my own little bits and pieces to it so I hope you like it anyway as I said remember if you make a comment in the section below you could be the lucky winner of the kit to make this card everything will be pre-cut and scored and ready to go all you will need is some glue dots some bling and some foam tape and you'll be able to put this card together yourself okay let's start as you can see, I've got all the bits and pieces here. I've already pre-cut this piece for the um, sentiment because I didn't want to have the table shaking and whatnot with the big shot. But also, I needed to use this to trace around the edge so that we get the border because there is only one of this style of die in the Apothecary Accents um, die set uh, which is no longer available unfortunately but that's another reason that I pre-cut and scored this or pre-cut it so let's start I have to use um, my scissors to cut this out now the best way of cutting these is to turn the paper itself as you're following along the line and not the scissors and you will get a much sharper, sharper cut. It also means that if you use um, the sharp nose scissors, there's no nicking into the paper and ripping it by accident, like you may if you used blunt nose scissors. Because I outlined in red pen, on the, the Mossy Meadow cardstock so I could see where to cut, what I'm going to do is flip it over. And because it's all symmetrical, it will still fit. Okay, we will go on to the stamping. I'm using Mossy Meadow to stamp with. This is one of the colours that's actually going to be discontinued within the next couple of weeks. I don't know that any of it's still available online to purchase, because everybody who already had Mossy Meadow in the stamp pad has already bought all the reinkers, and I'm not sure whether there are any stamp pads left. However, I haven't used Mossy Meadow very often in um, in any of my card making. Uh, green's not my favourite colour. I'm sorry for everybody out there who likes green, but it's not really for me. However, um, I didn't want to use black on this card because, and because the dark mossy meadow colour is in the DSP, it was an ideal choice to use for the sentiment. So we'll just line that up. The sentiments I'm using today are out of the new sweet sayings that will be available in the annual catalog, the new annual catalog that's coming out. Sweet sayings was actually released as part of our occasions catalogue for spring of 2016 or the new catalogue that's um, finishing at the end of this month. However, you don't need to worry about not being able to get sweet sayings because as I said, it's been renewed into our annual catalogue. Okay, before we put Mossy Meadow away, <clears throat> excuse me, my throat's really croaky today, we will put the inside saying in. And if you can hear noise in the background, that's my daughter. She's emptying the dishwasher for me. There we go. So it's got celebrate you on the outside, you wonderful thing you on the inside. Some great sayings in sweet sayings this year. Okay, we'll just flip this one over since it's going into the inside of the card. 
And yes, you'll see I'm not using my stamping up roller because I've run out and I'm waiting for a delivery. So you'll see me using a couple of, as I said, because of all the cards I've made recently, I've run out of so many of my supplies and I've had a wedding. My oldest daughter got married recently, so I've had a wedding to prepare for. So I haven't really had any spare cash either. OK, now I'm going to bring the paper trimmer in because we're going to make a hole in the front of the card. Now, the easiest way I've found is to line it up right at the end here. It's a one and a quarter mark. So we'll line it up to the one and a quarter and slice that bit off and we keep that for later. Move it back over to one and a quarter again and slice another piece off. You can keep that as a piece of scrap. And that leaves us with just that piece. Okay, we'll pop that away and just score the edge so this sits nicely. Okay, now I have cut the piece of DSP out. You'll find all the measurements if you want to make this card. All the measurements will be on my blog. So no need to worry there. If you don't win the um, kit, you'll be able to find all the measurements and everything. Oh, I've cut that one a bit. How'd that work out? Okay, how much am I over by? I'm over by a good quarter of an inch. So we'll just take that quarter of an inch off, which will be there. Okay, I don't want that sticking there. Look at this, I'm even leaving a blooper in. You can all have a good chuckle over that. Okay, we'll pop this one on. There we go. Now that fits nicely. And then we've got the other piece of DSP for the outside of the front of the card. Just pop that one on as well. There we go. Okay. So that's going to sit there. Now, we'll just pop some foam tape over this bit here and peel this off. And then we'll put our sentiment over the top. And as I said, because it's symmetrical, it will fit perfectly. There we go. And that will just sit down the bottom there. Now I've got to keep these two areas level and put some glue tape just on the bottom of this. Okay, we'll get this to sit fine. And pop that on there. And if you can hear a cat meowing in the background, that's my daughter's cat at the moment. He just doesn't want to be away from me, not her. So because I've locked him out of the room, he's having a conniption fit outside. Okay, now I pre-punched Calypso Coral, which is in the background paper there. And I will just punch out another flower in the blue pop those up and flip them over, grab our glue dots and just pop a glue dot on the back and just leave them sitting there lightly just in case we need to move them and I'm trying to centre them between in that gap. Oops, there we go. And then the blue one will sit nicely between the other two. And I'm just orientating that one differently. There we go. And now for our little bit of bling.
for the centre of the flowers. Just pop those on quite stiffly there and you can flip the flowers back up again. Oops. Like that, just flip the petals on to give them a little bit more body, like so. And then we just add oops, one more little bit of bling so that it looks like the labels have been affixed properly. And there we go. That's the one I've made here and there's the other one that I made earlier. Well, I hope you like this card today. If you have any questions, go over and leave a message for me on my blog. If you'd like to go into the draw to win the kit, where you'll get everything except for the sentiment. Um, yep, if you'd like the, to go into the draw for the kit, just leave, it, leave a comment in the comments section down below. If you like this video and you'd like to see more, give me a thumbs up. Thank you for watching me today and I hope you have a great day. Bye.